everyone asks. Corinthian leather. Of course, why not the best? It's the same with our new Chrysler New Yorker. It gives you everything. Powerful V6, anti-lock brakes, front-wheel drive, rich leather, 770 protection plan. And Chrysler's exclusive Crystal Key program. Complete car coverage with owner care that's even better than Rolls-Royce or Mercedes. Chrysler New Yorker gives you the one thing you always wanted in a luxury car. Everything. The contenders. The fried Big Mac. The flame broiled Burger King Whopper. The judges. The winner. The Whopper. The reason? Taste. In fact, out of four people prefer the taste of the flame broiled Whopper to the fried Big Mac. We do it like you do it when we do it like we do it. I see your point, Mr. Hermanosa. I don't think you see mine. My point is, you owe me for three nights we spent watching Mrs. Hermanosa not run around behind... Your point is, you found my associate, Mr. Thurston, asleep on stakeout night four. The allergy pills, Norm. What? What'd you say? The Arabs here? No, no. I said the allergy pills. Explain how they make me drowsy. How, uh, how about we split the difference, sir? Huh? I bill you to three nights, and we forget about the expenses, which would have run another hundred easy. Oh, well, thanks very much. And by the way, I'm real glad your old lady's playing you square. She always have a thing for deadbeats, or were you her first? Well, another satisfied customer, Sid. Well, guy stiffed you the whole thing. This one you can blame on the pharmaceutical people. You owe me, Sid. How? Oh, what? If I exceeded recommended dose, it would be another story. You sheiks here. Consider yourself into me for 800 bucks. That's what your little siesta cost. Wow. The only time I've seen it stretch that long was Ali showing up to defend his title. to the gondola, because if you think you're coming with me, you're wrong. Oh, nice, Norm. Tell a guy owes you 800 bucks and then not let him work it off. Bernstein says the sheik needs surveillance pictures, right? Well, that's not something you do alone. I'll make do. And yeah, Norm. All right, so I do this freebie. I can't afford your freebies no more, Sid. What are you saying? I'm permanent screw-up? Where's the evidence off one medication-related mistake? Hey, sheik, Norm Butts. I'm Sheikh Hamad al -Samani. How you doing, sir? Beat my man of business, Mr. Joe Volker. We're just coming from the courthouse. This thing has lawsuits of the yin-yang. And this is your second pair of eyes? Oh, uh, good thinking. I meant to suggest it myself. Please, get in. Hey, I'm gonna go shotgun on this one. Sid Thurston. Breakfast, huh? Shaurma. Yeah, right. You know what they say, it's the most important meal of the day. My attorney, Mr. Bernstein, said you were a good cop from his home city. He wasn't a half bad DA. Do you know what bunts means in the Arab tongue? Uh, no. Bunt is a stock market point. And I said to Councillor Bernstein, this man bunts, he's our gumshoe. Those car deodorizers, a buck forty-nine, they are not a bad investment. I'm thinking I'll get one myself. My collection of statues is, in a sense, my gift to the community, Mr. Bunks. Philistines. Go figure them, Chief. And the uh, Philistines beef, is they're a little off color? I displayed them on the outer wall so that people could have some small antidote to their petty, blinded, bourgeois lives. <laughs> Make love, not money. It's just a matter of speaking. Shake's not really against greenbacks, are you, Chief? Make love and money. Then there's life.
Welcome to the Ponderosa, Mr. Bunk. Darling. Mr. Bunk? Miss Glenda Robbins, a good friend of mine, and Professor of Aerobics. Miss Robbins, sir. <clears throat> what was it? A woman. Oh. Naked? And being honored by her lover, with his male greatness. Do I begin a security survey of the grounds now, Detective? <clears throat> Only leave your medication in your bag. So what was that? Another uh, female getting honored? Two females. Twins. Just a little gross. Sorry, Hammond, but you always knew how I felt about that one. My dear, I may disagree with your opinion, but I will defend to my death your right to say it. Did some American say that? Mr. Thomas Paine? Mr. Hugh Hefner? Yeah, one of them. Miss Robbins here was a business associate of Mr. Hefner's <laughs> for several months. Hammond reminds me of Hef. The head or something. <laughs> them more statues, Mr. Samadhi? Because, no offense, maybe if you put them inside on the driveway, then the, uh, the Philistines could gape through the fence if they wanted to, or if they wanted to keep their blinders on, they could pass right on by. Did I hire you as a landscape architect or detective? I want the vandals caught. Then at least put a couple of them on the driveway. Then we leave the gate open, maybe lure somebody in. Now there, an idea worthy of Mr. Sam Spade. I knew stock market point was a good omen. Allowance, please. Allowance? You needn't make him beg, Mr. Volker. My son, Saeed, Mr. Bunce. Hi. Yeah, bye. My father? My father's goat. My son prefers their company. The three live together. Does he like camping out, your dad? I built him a bedroom suite, a private bath, jacuzzi, under my own roof. But he prefers the ways of the desert. As Mr. Volker would say, go figure. Tarak, Yella, Tarak. Excuse me. Can I help you? Yeah, the, uh, the little boys' room? There are 14. The nearest is through there and to the left. Yeah. Turkish fake. It's worth about two cents more than it costs to clean it, but the shake likes it. Yeah, it ain't bad. Well, don't say it to him. You know how that works. No, how what works? If you compliment something in an Arab's house, he feels obliged to give it to you. Oh. <clears throat> Myron Freeberg. Yeah. What? My name's Bunce. I work for the Sheik trying to stop the vandalism. Is that your house next door, Mr. Freeberg? Lucky me. My grandchildren want to see me. I got to meet them at the burger place so they don't get perverted from looking out my window. Who's that? Sheik's minister at Dirk? You're pretty ticked, Mr. Freeberg. What I'm asking myself, are you ticked enough to smash some statues? Uh, you find a man who did it, Mr. Bunce. I got a bottle of Latour 61 with name on it. Oh, look, sir, hey, this ain't no mischief night crap no more. Now, $50,000 for destruction of property is a capable offense. Those public indecency. You got a court date for that. That is for a judge to settle. So's putting strong arm guys on your neighbor. I say anything strong arm, Mr. Freeberg? Uh, did I build up one stinking little shoe store to a national chain just to live next door to filthy statues? Oh, I've been hit. That's ice cream, Mr. Freeberg. Hey, 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 all right, all right. What are you going to do, lynch him, huh? Let me go. Come on, I'll take Let care of him. I'll sue that little foot for damage. Yeah, yeah, I know you will. I know. Come on. Jerk face. Come on, you 
bite me again, I'll beat your butt. So help me. Sure, kid. Sure, kid, I have Tola. All right. They should get away. Why don't they leave us alone? Because they live here. Even if they ain't the greatest, they're still your neighbors. Now, either you stay inside her all the time, or you're going to have to learn to live with them. Don't go out there now. Imagine doing this to your car. It's unthinkable. Yet some car waxes and polishes contain abrasives that can scratch your car. Introducing new Armor All Car Wax with no harsh abrasives, with a polishing ingredient so fine it won't scratch your car. Armor All Car Wax. It shines and protects, but it won't scratch. Sale ends Saturday. Next an all-new Miami Vice, Crockett meets the bullet. Daddy! With his own name on it. It's a possibility that he may be paralyzed. Next. Sunday, Mallory shocked when her boyfriend becomes a beauty queen. This is really scary. Then on day by day, Dad gets a job. <laughs> and gets fired. <laughs> then in one summer, she'll discover her independence. I'm going to press to you good. Find her real mother. You ain't a special boy who will teach her about love. I sure do like you. A story of the coming of age. You're gonna be a woman soon. Jason Robards, Jane Alexander, and Rob Lowe. Home is where the heart is, Sunday. The statues are deployed as you wish, Mr. Bunce. My associates on perimeter, I'm completing on-site interviews. Your, uh, your old man invited me for dinner. Enjoy. He roasts the superb intestine of goat. Hmm. Uh, Sheik. Let's say it's not neighborhood people. Let's, uh, let's hypothesize maybe it's business enemies. What, what kind of business are you in exactly? Hot dogs. Hot dogs. We're involved in the takeover of a regional chain. Of course, I made my fortune otherwise, holding one of the first Mercedes-Benz franchises in the Gulf states. The Persian Gulf, Mr. Bunce. But fast food. I mean, it's conceptually so American, isn't it? That's enough there. Lower back now. Any of these people in uh, fast food maybe resent you moving in? Oh, the hamburger people are always after the hot dog. Chicken versus fish, pizza versus taco. It's a jungle out there, Mr. Bunce. So I, uh, I guess I'll ask Volker on that. I said lower, Hamad. Carried on fringed pillows. Well, thanks a lot. Sit, Mr. Bunce. <sighs> As I mentioned, I got a few questions for you, sir. First, my appreciation. I saw you with my grandson. No problem. I said to myself, somewhere in the tribe of Bunts, there is desert blood. Well, we never really had a family tree done up. Noble blood. The patient eyes of the hooded owl, the proud beak of the speckled falcon. <laughs> Do you know what a Bunsa means in our language? Stock market share. No, 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 no. That is bunt. Bunsa is a flower, delicate but strong. It will bloom in any soil. I think you call it um, uh, 
A pansy. Smile. Right, this is a great country. Say, did you get anything to eat or what? Hey, Norm, I owe you, remember? A little hunger's gonna get in the way of me doing my job. Don't overdo it, Sidney. Sir, you know anyone who would want to whack at your son? Here, yeah, no. Who? Oh, mm -hmm. Prince Fahad al Simsim, Sheikh Ali bin Mohammed, Ali bin al Husseini. I got it. What about this girlfriend of his? Haluf. <laughs> no fan club for Glenda. Huh? Nice. She talks always. She is never silent. She pulls my son by his sacred pole. Wears no clothes, has no modesty. No disrespect. Seems like your son's style. Men of our generation, Mr. Bunce, we do not flog our camels. We know how fast they carry us. You see, my son is young, impatient. He has learned that the ear welcomes a whisper more than a shout. Sometimes, sometimes, a squeaky wheel gets the oil. Sometimes. Yet the silent lizard runs faster than the jackal who stops to bark. That's a point. This isn't bad. There's, there's bread. There's this Arab bread. Throughout the Middle East. And from an excellent Palestinian bakery south of your Wilshire Boulevard. Hey. For my honored guest. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Uh, how do you eat it? Eyes first. My compliments, Sheik, on your girlfriend. No. No, that's too obvious. I particularly wish to compliment you, Sheik, on your girlfriend, Glenda. No. No, I couldn't. No. It's too generous, really. Shabby. Just trying to pull my load. <laughs> you want bars around this tent? You better talk to me. There is nothing to say. To throw water on a wet mongoose. I don't want to hear about no more mongooses. You kamikaze your home. You endanger my operative. You let your freaking baker take your rap for you and, plus, your grandson, who you love, because you start these wise guy games, it's rubbing off on him. Now, you think that's the right thing to be teaching him? 
These last things, I feel disgrace. But... What? I would rather say to my son. Don't you think that's about time? Mr. Bunce will be here in a couple minutes, gentlemen. In the meantime, I, uh, I just wanted to tell you, Sheik, your taste in old gold and, uh, and my taste in old gold, well, it could be twins. I mean, this bowl here, for instance. Help yourself. Come again? Please, be my guest. Oh, well. <laughs> you see? <laughs> Beetle up. You bite it? No, spit it out. Father? Tell him. You make a fool of yourself and your family. We are guests in this land, yet you insult all who live around us. I have told you this before. As well as that, your statues are sacrilegious and ugly. You would not listen. To you only actions speak. Where's Said? Said? I love you, my son. Take down the statues. Hammond, I thought you were going to check my bank flea bite. Oh, shut up. Hey, Saeed, that kind of art guy to throw ice creams. You gotta learn how to play baseball. The stuff that comes out of pencil sharpness. Yeah. Yeah. You know him, Bunce? No, no. He's, well, uh... You taking delivery with your Bunce or not? Because I'm not taking this mama another step. All right, wait a minute. Here, sign this. Look, we're just a dinky fly by night delivery outfit, Bunce. Don't ask us to move livestock no more, okay? Livestock? Buns of the desert, for crying out loud. What, it's from the Sheik? The guy pays you double and sends you a gift? It's from the father. <laughs> a noble creature from the desert skies. Watch the talons. They rip humongous field rodents to shreds. Be careful. Something exciting just hit carpets. It's making a big splash in home fashions. It's this complete book on decorating with carpet, and it's free.
now at participating stores during DuPont decorating days. Just for looking at today's DuPont certified Stain Master. To get your free book, drop in now for Stain Master. Only from DuPont. The noise a wizard at making pizzas cold. But Domino's Pizza stays hot and fresh because it's delivered so quick, even the noise can't break the spell. Domino's Pizza delivers hot and fresh. Next on Miami Vice, Crockett is gunned down by the vengeful girlfriend of a narcotics kingpin. And tomorrow afternoon, NBC Sports presents Major League Baseball, an inside look, hosted by Marv Albert. Then it's a baseball doubleheader. Game 1 features the Cardinals at the New York Mets or Cincinnati at Houston. Followed by Game 2 as the Yankees take on Milwaukee or Atlanta at Los Angeles tomorrow. This is NBC, proud to be the network of the 1988 Summer Olympic Games.